guys, welcome back to my channel. Today for you I'm filming a baby beach essential video. I'm very excited because over the weekend for Mother's Day, which by the way, if you are a current expecting or aspiring mom, happy Mother's Day to you. Everyone deserves all the love. So over the weekend we went to the beach and it was such a great experience because it was my son's first time at the beach. But that moment leading up to it, I felt so much, not even gonna lie, anxiety because I was like, what do I pack? What do I take? What don't I have to take? We went and it was such an amazing, incredible experience. He absolutely loved it. And I really took away so many key things from our day trip. But I figured, why not share this video with you guys if you are, you know, looking forward to your first time with your kiddo at the beach and whatnot. So before we go on with the rest of the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I highly encourage you to. I post videos on a weekly basis on motherhood, lifestyle all that kind of good stuff so if that's content you're interested in you definitely want to subscribe so the first thing I want to tackle is baby gear so first and foremost the one piece of advice I will give you guys is to not just take one massive bag you do not want to catch yourself at the beach super high stress level rummaging through one massive bag to find a bottle and then to find a pacifier and then find one thing in the other therefore recommending that you take two bags designate one fully to food bottles all that good stuff and then designate a complete other one to what's considered Considered to be like the beach essentials okay and my go-to piece for the beach when it comes to like all food bottle related pieces is the iconic diaper bag from Kea Babies which I absolutely love in terms of organization it just beats all the ones that are out there in my personal opinion it has about nine organizational pockets within this bag and then it also has three bottle organizers which is amazing because they're actually insulated and in my personal opinion that is so cool and well thought out so what's also really cool is the fact that it has like internal piping you literally open the bag in such a way that it literally will not flop down and become a big old mess it stays upright really nice in its position and it's so easy to navigate within the bag so it also gives you the option of a handheld or the backpack straps and i just personally think that the backpack option is so key because you want to have your hands free you're carrying your baby slap the backpack on over you and it is just fantastic. Highly recommend this Kale Babies diaper bag. They did give me an affiliate code for you guys to get a 10% discount. I will link it or I will write it down below here. Oh my God, you guys, by the way, so essential for the beach is the Munchkin Feeder. This little thingy majig is just so convenient. I felt like one, babies get extremely hungry at the beach. Like, and it's what I told my husband. I was like, babe, imagine if us as adults get extra hungry at the beach. You can only imagine these tiny little humans. So I actually took like frozen applesauce to the beach and I threw in like a couple cubes in here and he was just kind of like gnawing on it while sitting on his little baby beach chair, which I'll get to. And then we attached a pacifier clip to it. My husband did this so genius and it's just perfect. And then of course, inside the bag, I have already pre-made salt and these are the glass containers from Sage Spoonfuls, which by the way, I absolutely love. So I have that in there. A thermos. Guys, a thermos is key, especially for like veggie purees. Before we headed out to the beach on Saturday morning, I warmed it up and I had it in this little thermos here and it was just so clutch. I made sure to take a little bib for him, a little burping cloth. We also took his little swimming trunks, not swimming trunks, like the swimmers, pampers. Also for the record, you guys, I will link everything down below for you in the description box. His wipes, super important. And then as you know, his formula, and I took his aquaphor baby for him. So also guys, super important. Please make sure to take extra food for your child. Take extra bottles, take extra solids, fruits, veggies, because I promise, Thomas was just like overly eating at the beach, not in an unhealthy way, but you could tell he was just so much more stimulated. So we gave him double fruit, double vegetable, of course, like separate at times, but make sure to take extra food. So someone woke up from his nap, Gordo. Someone wants to say hi. Hi, Mochi. Mochi, say hi, Gordo, to the camera. Everybody like my mommy's video, okay? The next thing that you guys absolutely need to get for the beach, and this is probably full of sand, is this baby beach chair. It comes in this drawstring like bag and comes in three colors if I'm not mistaken. You literally just open it like so and you get this super cute baby beach chair that oh my god was such a success for us. It comes with a harness to tighten them in and it also comes with this little tray moment which was great for feeding sessions and 
you guys thomas absolutely loved everything about this chair at the beach he's the kind of baby that wants to observe touch and feel everything i was scared that he might not like the sand and he was absolutely all about it so while he was sitting here he would kind of like tickle his toes with the sand and it was very cute and it made him feel like kind of he had freedom you know what i mean like he was on the chair he was observing the wind was hitting him it was just such a moment and such a vibe and so I got this for him from Amazon and it is probably one of the best purchases that we did for the beach, so. The second bag that we decided to take was this big old bag from the Disney store. It's a Mickey inspired bag, which grandpa got Thomas. And this is what we considered to be like our go-to beach oriented items. And so this is kind of like my trunk of fun stuff. We took him these little like fun sensory-ish blocks where there's a lot of colors and stimulating. And the reason why I packed these because I felt that it would be easy to just kind of dust off the sand at the beach so at least there was color stimulation but not too messy so we took these for him we then got him a mini fan and you guys absolutely need to invest in a little mini man in a little mini man you need to invest in a little mini fan for your little one just because thankfully in our case it was very breezy so he wasn't warm like that but i can assure you that come closer to summer we're gonna have to have this on full effect and so we also got this from amazon i will make sure to link it down below we then got him super important which i happened to find also to be an essential this little green sprouts hat just really important you want to protect your little munchkin's scalp and his head and ensure that like it's not getting burnt i made sure to rub a ton of sunscreen but a hat is so necessary and since we're kind of on that topic of sun protection and whatnot i got him these two shirt guards which, which thanks to my best friend because she is just awesome she recommended these to me from the brand i play also from amazon and basically they're just little tiny shirt guards for the beach and these are just spectacular they're so light they're so nice but super protective of the sun highly recommended from my end for you guys to get these additionally from amazon we then have of course his little mickey shorts i have to do a soft flex you guys because this boy is just obsessed with mickey and we then got him these cute freaking crocs like can you deal and then we of course got him like the little uh, mickey buttons to put on them so adorable also super important we packed a second change of clothes a little oversized t-shirt for him and then these yummy just light shorts from H&M post beach we freshened him up dusted off all the sand you know got him all clean and you know he was going home in a fresh set of clothes and not his like wet clothes so I took him a blanket of course your chicken nugget falls asleep in the beach I totally get it it might be warm but just pop your little fan he's sleeping she's sleeping and then throw a really light blanket over them of course towel super important we all know that and then in this little sectioned off bag is where I put his sunscreen our sunscreen but I ended up getting him the baby bum fragrance free mineral <laughs> fragrance free mineral free no it's fragrance free mineral 50 broad spectrum SPF 50 not gonna lie when I first put it on him on his skin it really irritated it there was just like bumps all over his skin but then by the second third application because I said you know what like I rather apply it a few more times. I did not have a backup extra sunscreen. Maybe that's a good idea. Take one sunscreen and if that doesn't work, have a second one on hand. But when I applied it the second, third time on his face, I noticed that the bumps never came back and they also never came back with these to follow. So I don't know if it was just an initial reaction, but yeah, I got him the baby bum sunscreen and well. And that's really pretty much it, you guys. If you get to really experience a beach day with your little one, I am so excited for you because what you have to look forward to is so much fun and great memories to come. Really, really great time. We had a wonderful time. And so you guys, this is it. This is the completion of my baby beach essentials video. Thank you guys as always for coming back to my channel. Please join us, subscribe down below, give a like, and make sure to leave a comment if you guys share the same practices if you do something different that i should definitely try myself next beach day and as always thank you guys and i wish you guys an amazing week